Hey folks, Kalani here. Going to be showing you a very quick and easy method of levelling up your enchanting on the current beta build. Obviously this won't be accessible on live as sadly the NPC required for this won't be going through to live and we'll definitely miss private Tim P. O'Reary. Definitely will. How else are we going to get to Organ more faster? Anyways, but this can help you on the beta. Um, so if you want the enchants for raid testing, for dungeon testing, general DPS testing, performance testing, etc, 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 how far you can get of certain stats, what you should be stacking come live, or if you just want to see what spell effects you get. So for this you're going to need a considerable amount of vellums. Now I'm rolling with a hundred, probably won't need that many, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Don't want to be hopping back to an enchanting trainer just because I forgot my valence, you know. Um, other things that will make this a lot easier are these two macros. A quick disenchant macro and a do trade skill get trade skill selection index macro. Now I'll explain those a little bit later. But the key to this is our little friend, Tim. So his wares are actually disenchantable. And out of all of the like preset green and blue gear available, his are actually the only ones that I found them which are uh, disenchantable. Um, I obviously haven't checked a lot of them because there's no need when, you know, I found one. But Dawn's Blossom one would have been quicker because it's closer to the enchanting trainer, but you can't disenchant that stuff, sadly. So, what we're going to do is not talk to him. What we're going to do first of all, come back, is buy up a lot of greens. Um, disenchant them and head off to an enchanting trainer. So I'm going to buy two lots, two full bagfuls of greens, disenchant them and get on with that. So I'll speed this a little bit up. Yeah. Okay, so for the disenchant macro, once you've got a nice bag full of greens, you want to shift click into the use. So cast disenchant, enter, use, and the item you just bought a lot of. This is why it's important to buy the same thing, um, otherwise you're going to be spending a lot of time disenchanting. So go ahead and disenchant all these greens. Remember to leave a space. Potentially two. That's for our enchanting maps. Okay, obviously you won't need to do that next time because you already have enchanting maps. So I'm just going to speed this up once again and I'll come back after the cut. Okay, so once we've got our materials, we need to head to Dawn's Blossom, which is right around there. So I'll see you again once I get there. Okay, so once you've made it to the enchanting trainer, the rest is basically just enchanting. So learn your enchanting to boost it up to 610, if you're a blood elf of course, which I am. Um, 600 is the usual max for Mr. Pandaria, which at least we've got a nice even number to work with this time. So, potentially, I have a lot of useless things to learn, um, because this is a pre-made character. So you want to start learning them from 500 downwards. You're going to get some cataclysm ones in there probably but that doesn't matter okay so if we have enchanting down on bars that could help so the curious thing with mists is that for enchanting you have quite a lot of the um, several point skill ups I guess um, which are really really handy and yeah, I love the way enchanting levels. It takes like no time at all. So you've got like a few to go up by two, you've got some to go up by five, and obviously working out which one is um more beneficial and will give you the most out of what materials you're using essentially is going to be the key to leveling as quickly as possible. So I'll just quickly skip through this entire thing. You can look at the ones that I'm using and I will be using the um, 
Velum macro to make this even quicker. So, incoming speed up! Boom! 610. And we didn't use quite a lot of the materials. Now, the key to how this works so well is that in Mr. Pandaria you can make shards out of essences and essences out of dust. This makes it so, so much easier to use materials in a, sens a sensible way, I guess. Um, because essentially, if something costs. Um, say six dust but you can use the same sort of skill up for one essence then you can change five dust into one essence and use one less dust for that skill up and it just makes like saving materials and using them as efficiently as possible so much easier so obviously we can now buy all of these but that took essentially the time there is um, through the disenchanting so I mean if you want to do it calculate how much you want or make it so you don't spend more time disenchanting than you need to then by all means that can make it a lot quicker um, if you want to look at these macros again the disenchant one is quite simply just cast disenchant, enter, use the item you're disenchanting and you can go as many as you want up to the character limit and it'll just disenchant in order anything which matches that in your bags. This one's a little more complicated in that essentially you should just copy it if you're not sure what it's doing but in a nutshell what it does is takes the selected enchant I suppose or whatever you're doing um, this does work with any trade skill obviously the use enchanting vellum won't be appropriate for anything else but when you then press that macro it gets what you're selecting and then uses it on anything really but I've selected enchanting vellum you can use this to enchant any piece of gear you want um, and you can also add a um, a cancel error or accept error message so when it says do you want to replace this it automatically says yes and doesn't bother with that so it makes it a lot quicker obviously using on vellums um, is non-specific it lets you use the enchant later on with whatever you're doing you can even sell them and it just speeds up the entire process of a not wasting the enchant and b actually you know enchanting something to give you the, um, the skill points so that's how you can very quickly get max enchanting on the beta obviously the technique itself will be appropriate for when live hits but you won't be able to get the greens for free who knows you might actually be able to get the greens for less gold um, as you noticed I did burn through quite a lot of gold buying those greens they were 32 gold I think a piece so you probably end up spending less money but obviously it's going to be slower to some extent but you'll be able to buy uh, dust, swap it to essence, to shards just to level up as much as you want well I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps some of you get the enchanting you're looking for on beta thanks a lot and I'll see you next time